it's your favorite african gamer here and we are back at it once again with dying light 2. we're gonna continue up where we left off last time we took well we got stuck in doing a very long side quest which i could not believe how long the side quests are they're almost just as long as the main story but we're gonna continue off with the main story here that was actually longer than i thought <clears throat> But we made it without running into any issues, so. Alright, so now we gotta get in here. Oh, great. Uh, I mean, this is the main entrance. I would have thought there would have been an easy way in, but. Oh, there you go. Luan, yeah, you were right. Only ruins left. Luan? Hey, Major Matt? Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship. To the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right. Good question. It uh, freed the imprisoned survivors. Yeah, where am I? And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. What do those survivors want? Talking about armament? They want what everyone wants. Safety. Which I understand. But we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father. I, I don't mean to pry, but uh, what's the deal with your father? Ugh. This again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers, some civilians, and got a medal. When was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other, and not each other and infected at the same time. So is he why you joined the military? Pretty much. <laughs> he must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry! Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! But you gotta stop. Oh, fuck. Oh Hater's in really bad shape. Take him to the infirmary! Oh, Summon the medics! Going. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ator survives. We lost too many people in Old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. We are. Goddamn renegades attacking the canteen now. We're really gonna win this war. I don't know, but I'm the one to blame. It's a big container ship, that's for sure. Is those prison cells? <laughs> All right. Well, let's go up there and see. Okay. 
ahead. I mean, it looks like a pile of ground beef. What did that do? This is the perfect spot to kind of secure. Aiden, don't know what this is. These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men, whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure, and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. I'll do my part, but what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get Waltz for you. You're working with Loan, which makes me think you're looking for him too. Okay, I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay. Jack? Oh, Jack the Reaper does not look like he's doing very well at all. Now, the part that keeps, that, uh, I guess keeps puzzling me is the fact that... Fetch this, dump that. Why doesn't all of, or why don't everyone get together and cleanse the city? And then worry about the pettiness. Can I help you? Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? 
The VNC Tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Well, that's good. But what makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. I don't think this is gonna be good for us, guys. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up. Drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game, here and now. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. You can go now. Look at her. All right, at least now we know why Frank is the way he is. So let's go find out why Juan's been uh, dropping the soap. Oh, yes, we got it. Patrol, report in already. Where is Frank? We're here, we're here. Quite a piece. Taking the people to knock Well, should I say Juan instead of Frank? Recently, I had the honor of getting chewed out by Raider himself. He took the effort to. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So, Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can take French. a message. No. I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Reyna's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Now wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Reyna is well known as a connoisseur of the finer things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. You? Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. This woman got the nerve. And the one? Hayden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. 
Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. We're here, we're here. Get out of here. All right, well, we now know where he's at. We gotta get there while it's 9 a.m. No, mind. 10 a.m., should I say. You know what would be a great DLC? Off the bat. You guys ready? Uh, city zone. A complete annihilation of a zone from these zombies. That's all I'm saying. That's how I feel about it. Before I get out of here. That's all I'm saying. I mean, you could build plenty of these around the city and work block by block, clearing out the whole city. Bring together a city, two different zones, well, multiple zones, based off of cities, should I say. That should do it for them. That's all I'm saying. Favorite? Somebody asked me, what's your favorite zombie movie? All, and I literally mean all and every single one of the Resident Evil ones. I love them. Love it all. Couldn't have enough, so I've watched them like multiple times. And Dawn of the Dead. I mean... Those are the classics, but yeah, Resident Evil for me. The whole clear umbrella. Can't get enough of it. Alright, so it should be nearby. Probably it's not where these guys are at. No, it's not. Nah, they're good. What I'm surprised of so far, though, we haven't ran into uh, like a like a zombie boss. <laughs> That's what I'm surprised of. We got upstairs. Yeah, Juan, it should be up here. I can see they scared me. So we need to resolve this. Of course, he would be in here. Juan Rayner? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you. From Meyer and the commander. And my name's... I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang-up with the Renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please, make yourself scarce. Well, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. 
At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Uh... Let's convince him. Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. But you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. I think I think we do have to threaten. Let's let's ask him for help. Right, see listen, what he does. I'm just trying to help. I, I need those lamps. <laughs> so the groveling and begging begins. My favorite part. <laughs> you really need him, or Jack? Would he promise you? Look, you were supposed to deliver, and I was asked to make sure you do. And how do you expect to do that? Maybe bat your pretty eyelashes at me? I'm not saying you're not my type, because you are. But I need a reason to break Vinny's heart for someone else. So you have to try harder. Huh. Okay. <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Returning to more pressing matters. And what should we try next? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. Show me don't have a Come see me back at my place. We'll talk. Even a drop of pino. Maybe some fruit. Sweets always do me good between heavier horses. What's her place? You got her own room? In ten years? She's upstairs talking about come to my place. Girl, if you don't stop. I dream of a vacation by the sea, you know? <laughs> Me too. Or in the mountains. Yes, she does. What do you know? Let me guess. He scarfed down five courses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. It's Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Danier likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Go, find some art. All right, let's go find that art. And of course. Okay. It's probably in that building. Alright, let's get over there. But, well, at least our health went up a little bit. What took down a tank? Like, literally, what? Inhibitor container detected. It'll be no fun to kill me. I'm weak. Let me go. 
It might be over there, but let's take a look. Inhibitor container nearby. I might have to fight, unfortunately. set to go I think we're getting closer to that top of that building <laughs> It's actually that building. Well, that's kind of sucks. Uh. Alright, let's see if it's over here. Oh, thank God we found that. Yeah, this is a big building to climb. See if there's a faster way to get it to get up there. <laughs> yeah, there's gotta be. Trying to see if there's a faster way. Nope. I'm pretty sure we can make that. Yeah. Yeah, we can make it. Let's try it. Uh. Nope, that doesn't even do it. Uh. All right. Uh. Good thing for those things.
Oh wow, are you serious? We can't go through any of these doors. All right, well, back up we go. That kind of sucks. But more disappointing than anything. Trying to find that side landing spot. Whoever was living here was living in luxury, all right. What? Oh. All these TVs in here. The one? There's nothing left in here. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. I'm sorry, but it seems that there isn't room for you in the helicopter after all. I'll try to send another. Don't worry. I have to save the collection. Yours, T. That is he took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. That man put his belongings first. you serious okay so we do have to let's craft two of them I think that's outside okay found a stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. I was just at the roof. Literally was just there moments ago. Gotta be another way. Can't go out the main door. Oh, never mind. What do you know? He's got a latch. Ah, oh, fuck. There aren't any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan. Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. 
Luan? That's hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Right, okay, I'll go there. And listen, that vodka? Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Okay, so... I mean... They're listed one and two for a reason, I guess. Let's see if we can get there. 